Hi, Tyler. Uh, you come in to see the Silverado. Um, do you have a vehicle you're going to replace? Yeah, I have a Malibu. Okay, well, I, uh, we'd love to bid on it. Um, do you happen to uh, have a balance on that Malibu? Yes, I do. Okay. How much is it? Uh, 13750 Okay. Um, we'll get the exact payoff. Now, are you familiar with the three options you have when it comes to this balance right here? Uh, um, trade it in? Um, no, you got, well, I'm talking just the balance here. You got three options. No, no one's ever gone over these with you before? Mm -mm. Okay. Option number one, most people would like to do this, most people can't do it. Okay, so if you can't do it, don't worry about it, but I want to run it by you just in case you can. Okay. Option number one is you pay off that sucker completely, okay? Because when you do that, the entire cash value of that vehicle goes towards your next one, which means you get lower payments, fewer finance charges, and you can trade sooner if you want to, okay? That's option one. Option two, pay 50, 60% of that off, okay? Because when you do a partial payoff, what happens is, again, you're gonna get more of the cash value towards your next for purchase, you're gonna get lower payments, you're gonna get fewer finance charges, you can trade sooner. And option three is roll over entire balance and live with a higher payment given we can get the lender to approve it, okay? okay? So, which one of these options is gonna work best for you? Well, I can't pay the vehicle off. Okay, not a problem, not okay. a problem. You can partially pay it off, or you can roll over the entire balance and just live with a higher payment. Um, I'll probably just live with a higher payment. Very good, put a check mark by that one right there. Okay. What's the customer just agreed to do? Pay a higher payment. Uh -huh. You think it'll make it easier to close them? Yeah. Do you like that? I've never seen that before. Was he doing years. that? Was he doing that before the pencil? Oh, oh, he's not worried about equity. Not worried about negative equity. He just said, "You have a payoff." Okay, are you aware of your three options? Mm -hmm. When he did this to me, I went, "What?" The fuck? I've never. <laughs> no, well, I, no, you, you have no options. He goes, "Yeah, you do, Steve. You got three options. Option number one, pay it off. Most people can't do it, but hey, if you can, it's great for you." Mm -hmm. By the way, is he right? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Option number two is, hey, make a partial payment. Okay, this is a backhanded way of working the customer for cash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just pay off 50% of it. Can you put down 65, seven, seven grand? Well, I guess 6,500. Excellent, we'll pay off half that sucker. You'll still get a lower payment, still get fewer finance charges, still get to trade sooner. And then if the customer's got no money, um, he's just agreed, you've already conditioned them for a higher payment pending bank approval. And people say, well, what if, they, what if he's got equity? It doesn't matter whether there's equity or not. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Because it's going to be higher than if he did. Right. Yeah. I've got this word for word in the workbooks I'm going to give you. I pretty good. I like that. I yeah. like that a lot. It's, plus, it's really simple. Mm -hmm. It's really, really simple. Okay? So now we're going to practice that. Okay?